you are ready for her. Born North Carolina, now a native here in Atlanta, we bring you the main artist for the evening, and this time I bring you Twyla. Come to the stage. Well, I think I'm a little bit taller than this. So. <laughs> Let me adjust this. Bring it out. Come on, hold on now. Let's get this pill. Thank you. Work some. which is a nonprofit union of uh, social and conscious progressive artists and supporters. Uh, we won't let mainstream media dictate what we think uh, progressive music is. Who plays it, who performs it, and all of that. Um, also, um, we claim the long existing uh, problems of spiritual deprivation. Say it, baby. <laughs> Like, say it, baby. Okay. Hey. <laughs> and uh, racism. Uh, and all that. So, this is nice. So sit back and enjoy some of the spiritual food that we get ready to feed y'all at the Soul Cafe. D. Robinson. We hungry, baby. I'm like, give her a hand, cause y'all out here for a reason. <laughs> Shout out, 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 shout out
Lucy. Yeah. So this song is really, it's really, really, really about her and what she says to me. And you know, mamas mean well, they in your business. So this is what this is about. I love it. About her. I love it.
next song actually is about a hitchhiker that uh, Mr. Love and I picked up. And we were just curious, like, well, hey, where are you going? And she was like, I'm going to Cali. I was like, wow, I've never been to Cali, so that's cool. I've never been. And she said, well, I want to hitchhike all the way there. And I was like, the name of that dangerous? And she was like, yeah, but if you don't go for your dreams, then you'll never know what happens.
before we wind down. This is a, if you're a writer or um, an artist or anything, you always have a favorite something, you know. And this right here is one of my favorite songs. And it's called I Got You.
she is feeding y'all the spiritual food. Some progressive music. You know? um, that's what I'm trying to do. That's why I ain't on uh, 103. So, uh, it's progressive. No. Um, and I would like to thank the Rock Solution Corps. That's an organization that uh, I'm a member of. Um, when I came to Atlanta, and um, they're about socially and consciously progressive music, artists and supporters. That's nice. Thank you for being himself. 
Warriors on video. Yeah. This is my singer. Love song for y'all. Mm -hmm. I wrote this up in the uh, band that I was working on tour.
we snapped a string up on it.
know that you want, that you need it, baby. It's taking it all. Yeah, guess it's drowned by the world on the floor. until after this act. This act is going to be Tabitha, the acoustic singer. That was my bad. Thank you.
How you doing, ladies and gentlemen? How you doing, ladies and gentlemen? Can you hear me? Okay. Recently, um, I was asked, um, Chaplain, what do you do when you have problems? I mean, some real deep problems. And I had to think about it. Um, and I say, I guess I probably close my eyes and, and try to come up with an answer. And so as I was thinking about that, that question, I came up with this song, because basically, no matter what, we kind of want a peace of mind, and that's the name of the song. I want you to repeat after me. Every time I say, peace of mind I need to find, I need you to repeat after me, okay? All right? Is that okay? All right. Peace of mind I need to find.
can lose my guitar here. Let me adjust. This next song I um I wrote um, in memory of my mother. I lost her when I was young, and and I was uh, you know you know know what you have when you're young, you know, and. Um, I've written many, many songs since then, and I just couldn't come up with something that I thought was befitting of her. And I finally, actually, I wrote a letter. I wrote a letter to her, and I turned it into a song. It's called Days Like This.
And this next one, I guess what I need your help in. Um, this is a simple little song I wanted to write about. I guess after you realize that um, whatever's going on in the world, that, um, that you're the blame or you are the, the navigator of your life. So either you can navigate your life or you can always, you know, just sit back and, and blame yourself for not going forward or you can blame others. So when I finally realized um, that all I needed to do was just go forward and claim what I wanted, I made this realization, I was like, why didn't I do this before? So this one is called Walk With Me. And all it is is... Walk with me on the back of my shoes. And I want you to sing that. Walk with me on the back of my shoes. Walk with me on the back of my shoes. Walk with me on the back of my shoes. Walk with me on the back of my shoes. Walk with me on the back of my shoes. Good, good. So every time you hear that, I want you to come in with that, okay? One 
song that this is my theme, I think. And um, I had to uh, declare a state of independence because I found myself driving and crying to work every day. Sitting in traffic, you know, I was a, a road rage candidate, for real. I mean, and I'd get to work and I'd sit in a cubicle and I'd, I'd go, what am I doing here? And I just, I couldn't come up with an answer, you know? And so I, I had to evaluate myself. And you know what I came up with? I found out that I didn't like to work. Not that I'm lazy. It's just that I thought it was a waste of time to be somewhere you just really don't want to be, you know? What a waste of energy, you know? And I know some of you all have to drudge off to work tomorrow. I know. But, um, so uh, I knew something was up because I kept getting fired, you know? So I thought, well, well, maybe this is not for me, so I'm not going to get fired this time. I'm going to do it differently this time. I'm going to quit. So that's what I did. I quit. So I said, I quit many times. I said, this time, this last job, I'm going to make sure that I can eat this time. So I decided to go full steam ahead with what I wanted to do in my life. And I had to, I, you know what, you kind of find out that you don't have friends, you know, when you try to step out there, you know. And uh, your family, uh, you find out that uh, you could do without some of your family members too. And I found out that what comfort zones that we build for ourselves are just crutches. And they really don't mean anything except for it's just a waste of time in between the time that you need to go where you need to go. So I had to strike a match, throw it behind me, and I burn bridges. And this one is called I Burn Bridges. And you'll know when to come in. There's a little part for you to help me. All right. Free will is 
ladies and gentlemen, Sister Catherine. One more applause for that, please. Uh -huh.